Yeah, no kidding about giants. So have y'all ever heard of this man, Robert Wadlow? He's gone down in history as the world's tallest man, reaching a height of almost nine feet tall. Well, eight foot 11.1 inches to be exact, which is 272 centimeters tall, 2.7 meters. Mate, I'm 5'5". Five five. My ceiling doesn't even reach nine feet. So my man's Robert Wadlow was known as the Alton Giant or the Giant of Illinois. Look at his shoes. He was a size 37. This blows my freaking mind. Like, tell me this man isn't a giant. Check this out. It's so amazingly tall. It's easy to forget that this is a statue of a real person. He was known as the Alton Giant because of a pituitary gland condition that could be treated today. He grew to nearly nine feet tall, and Robert Wadlow went into the record books as the world's tallest. So unfortunately, Robert passed away when he was only 22 years old, but they guessed that if he had lived, he would have grown even taller. Now this is John Bud Rogan, who is the world's second tallest man in recorded history. He was eight feet and nine inches tall, or 267 centimeters and passed when he was around 36. Now they say that he had gigantism, which is an overproduction of growth hormones causing increased height, and in adulthood, an advanced increase in bone size. Look at this man's hands. Now this is Sultan Kosen, and he holds the current world record for tallest man alive, but has placed seventh in recorded history of tallest men. Tell me all of these men aren't giants. My man's Robert Wadlow takes the concept of living giants to a whole other level. Look at his shoes one more time. And his hands in comparison to this man's face. It's just nuts. Giants are real, that's all I'm saying. Now again, they said that Robert Wadlow had a condition which apparently could have been treated today. Medical science has apparently caught up to Robert Wadlow's condition, but maybe he descended from giants. I mean, come on. This has always perplexed me. Um, what do you think?